Alright, what's going on guys, it's Kai, we're back with another deck profile. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys a Goki deck profile. This is a one of the budget deck build I ever built in my career I believe. And a lot of people requested me for a budget deck, uh, what deck is suitable for comeback players, for returning players, and their budget is kinda less, kinda low I believe, because some of them I know them in high school which is like a few years ago back in I think it's two to three years ago when I still in school and now they wanted to play back Yu-Gi-Oh because of they heard about a lot of things become cheap and some of them like combo decks some of them like control decks well this is one of the combo decks I've been testing these few weeks and I play this with a few bunch of friends in the locals and turns out this is a really fun deck it is still Goki but not as broken as 2018 no u-shape no u-link no gumblar no that sort of thing but it is still a pretty decent deck i believe tcg's player have been playing this deck for quite sometimes i got this idea from gabriel vargas shout out to gabriel our uh, the 2018 national champions i saw him make this goki in tcg format i i thought about it be like why don't i make an ocg format about gokis of course our format is different you have different like play style extenders maxis etc well it is what it is so without further ado let's get into the profile and also this is a budget build and from now on, i will make a profile about budget deck profile which is within 100 to 150 ringgits which is around 30 to maybe 80 dollars in us the deck builds. So without further ado, let's go into the monster first. For start off, the Gokis, I play the Riscopios, Suprex. This is the better one. I wanted to play the third Suprex, but I replaced it with something else. I want I play Riscopio because I want another Goki name. Sometimes you need another name. You can't search the same one because of course they are ones for turn floats, but you don't want to search them if this with the same names and you can just break the break on the spot and you don't have the resource management as well. Double twist cobra, one iron claw, two hit bats. I play two because this is one of the extenders. If you got stop and you have another goki you can use this to ditch that. Ditch another goki and then you use rematch to bring back this and bring back the one you discarded and then you bring back another one you still can extend if you want. So Iron Claw is just another name as well, it's a level 2, it's just another name. And what this effect does is when your Gokis battles against your opponent's monster during damage step, you can send this card from hand to the graveyard and you monster gain 500 attacks and then unaffected by effects. That's all, and for the level 1 is the 2 Octos and 1 Guts. You need 2 because it's a level 1. Well, Guts is, well, it is still a level 1, so <laughs> not gonna explain that. That's all for the Goki lineups. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. I was playing 12 because it's even number is better for playing Gokis, I believe. It's not the old format in 2018s. I miss those format, but no, I don't in the meantime because Goki, Goki decks are fun, right? And for another normal summon, is 2 connectors and a dolphin. You guys are wondering why I'm not playing 3 because I don't want to commit to too many normal summons. I already have Suprex and I have this. So I don't want to commit to too many normal summons. But I do want a few of the normal summons bring me extents like normal summon, special summon from hand, special summon from deck, from grave. I need those so I played it to 2 ratios. And of course the another target is 2 Marauding Captains. I played this, it's well, it's just a warrior and especially some anything from the hand as say level 4 so you can special literally anything if you have as long as you can make it so day is kind of is is just fine and of course the two jump forward this is the best one I'm not playing 3 because you may break with 3 you may end up special normal this and your opponent may think okay he's brick and we're dead and the best one is triple Firefly Lady, this is the best one. It's a free extenders. This is the card with this with this is basically it's so day without normal summons, which is nice. And for the other combo variants is 
one cloak and one boots and of course the zero day breaker this is for the combos not much to explain yes these two may be expensive a little bit but if you total off a deck it is still within 100 and 150 regions you can replace this with something else as well as if you want i play this because it's a warrior so you can normal summon these specialties and you can still make it its old days and for the not necessarily package i play the malicious and the nair the, this it's not bad to draw this because you have dolphins to send it to the send it to the graveyards and of course this is just Egyptian god combos. That's all for the monsters. I believe I play like 20s. I didn't count. 26. I maxed out all the monsters because I wanted the extents. For the spells, one rotor. Two rematch re two is the perfect number. I tried three but I break it a lot. This is the reason why this that can grind your opponents. If your opponents break your boards, you open this. This is one of the two monsters. You can link climb. You can go for a lot of place. If you don't, it's fine. You can open this, bring back two monsters, and you twist cobra to twist cobra to tri tribute it and to increase the attacks. So you still have a force with the one goki monster. It's like a one punch dex. And speaking of one punch for Isode targets, I play. The two, only two. I played this because, as you can see, you, you summon monsters like really easily. You have junk forward, you have marauding captains. If your opponent like the cross unicorns or anything, you open the rematch and you normally summon one any gokis and you open this and you just punch through and swing it to like the cross unicorns, inspire borders, just anything. United we stands is what we what we needed, but this is what this is just it is living fossil, living fossil is just free extenders. And for the best extenders, I believe is one instant fusion and one restored fusion. This is the best one. And I don't want to play instant fusion at first, but it's just a free extender. Why won't you just play? Of course, it's vulnerable to maxis in our format. Well, we are playing budget decks. If you want to play competitive, of course, I will play something expensive, but no, this is what it is. And the one more best extender is Monster Reborn, but. If you're drawing this during your first hand, you're not telling me this is a standard, well, you're wrong. Yes, I am wrong myself first, that's, that's all. That is what I mentioned. And of course, I play the one Fusion Destiny. I only play one because I don't want to draw it. I just want to use it as the end combo. So it's optional for you to play this. You, you can choose not to play it. It's fine. Just It's just theirs. We don't have Dragoons. Of course, if I have Dragoons, I'll play Dragoons. But we don't have... That's what we did. And the also non non necessary combo is two engage and one hundred bit. This is a warrior, so that's why I play this. And people may ask, will you play two engage? Why only play hornets? Um, I am playing the eagle boosters, but there are a lot of times I break with this, so I cut this out. So you want to play like this is fine because the main point is you activate this search hornets, and you can. Special the hornets and you still can make it so this one on normal summons. And the same reason why I don't play Kagari because Kagari is not a warrior. If you open this, especially Kagari, make this, the, the most optimal is just to make say Cerberus or Phoenix and you just stop theirs. You can't link climbs anymore. So, unless you have a Gokis to link climb, that's a different story. But well, I'm not gonna, how do I say that? I'm not gonna have that much extents or I don't want to back my, on my chance for that so that's, it is what it is and the one duster self explanatories and two call by and one triple tactics you may notice I didn't play cross out because my deck is very tight I would play cross out if I want but the only hand trap I will play is three max three ash one maxis one nibiru and one ghost bell that's all I will play if I play cross out but that will make your deck even more thick and your extenders might not end up drawing them you might have to grind them out but which is not not as good as i think but it is what it is you guys maybe have a different opinions make sure to let me know because in this deck people have different opinions when you test the deck you know what we're talking about and of and for the trap cards is one brigandine and two fall play i wanted to play more because this is a warrior as well you can use this to make his old days but I it's not good to draw multiples it's once per turn so you can use this to set it over your 
your rusty and then you can open this make link spider you can still get the link climb if you want to effect monsters and fog base fog base fog base broken that's all for the main decks i believe it's 43 i tried to cut but i don't want to do it because this deck decks out really fast because your gokis float you basically will like use all your goki stuff in the turn if you extend well so it is what it is for the extra i believe the extra deck is basically the same or maybe a little bit adjust maybe for mine i'm still testing it because this is a budget casual decks i'm not saying competitive if competitive is a different story so, for the extra deck is one kribo link spider Double is so double is so is correct. You once you use the first one, you need the second one. You can't play with the one only. Phoenix, Cerberus, Virus, and Virus Berserker is for the combo. Rusty, yes, this is expensive as well, but not as. You can change this to other things if you want, but this is not expensive as you think. It is still cheap in our case. A Perusa, Firewall, Borosaur, the. Instant fusion target, this can be something else. I might cut this, I maybe only use once, so this could be something else. Maybe access code, but I don't think access code is good it's in this format because you can see it's a very tight and the last one is Phoenix Enforcers. You can cut up these two to make unicorn and access codes, but I choose to play this because if you go for game, Borosaur is the much more better options for access code in this deck. If you make access code, yes, you can clear the boards, but you can go for games because if you might end up using all your extenders. If you use this, you summon another, another one. If you have extenders, yes, you, if you have rematch, then you go for access code, then you basically win the game, but not necessarily. So it's a different place that you can use that if you want, but this is it is what it is. Firewall is nice for the end combo because it is still has the bounce effects, so you can use it during your opponent's turn to bounce two monsters and you can bounce your resources as well so it is still good to play this so guys that's it for the deck profile i'll show you guys a little mini combo with two gokis or any two monsters that can special summon itself to make two monsters but yeah you, this deck is easy to with that combo i'm gonna show you guys a basic ones you guys may find this familiar because a lot of people are doing the exact combo in the tcgs but in ocg it's almost the same as well so we're gonna start off with two of the most basic gokis which is one suprex the best ones and the random gokis as well and this is the fuse center this is my diy tokens i make by myself this is the Dark Magician Girl, even swimsuits. Yes, this is kind of nice, but yeah, I prefer the other one instead. I loved it. I prefer this one, the fluffy ones. The Melfi, I make this because the waifu asked me to, so I just be obeying her orders. So what we're gonna do, do now is what we can summon Suprex and special another Goki, make this to it to his old days. And now we're gonna have the chain link one two three. It's never mind this card can negate it, but if if you're well aware of gamma, so we want two three instead. So suprex we're gonna search for headbats. Cobra just cobra we're gonna search for Scorpio and the soul day is gonna search for jump forts, the one that you don't want to commit summon it. And then it's all these packs. I'm gonna send a ran random quick spells. And we're gonna summon Octo. And then hit that's effects. You can discard the Goki to target a Goki, to summon yourself, gain 800. This is that not necessarily need to be happens. And then we're gonna make this tree into a Appaloosa, Appaloosa for trees, and then Octo hit best effects. You're gonna search another two Gokis. Now we're gonna search the Suprex for next turns and the rematch. And now we're gonna activate the rematch. Make sure to you doesn't special summon back the one you add with Isolde. So be keep that in mind. I'm gonna summon back these two. We, I summoned this copy because I never summoned it before, so I get to search it after I use it as a link folder. Go to the virus. 
virus chain one, use copy of chain two, and now we're gonna search for our guts, and then virus effects is gonna special the zero day day breaker, and then these two is gonna make it to virus berserker. The virus berserkers, berserkers effects in this co link. You're gonna bring back these two from the graveyards, and you're gonna use these two into link three. Rusty Bardish, Rusty Bardish effects is gonna send cook, and we're setting fog blade close effect at the boots special boots and make these two into fire wall dragon and here we're gonna banish the boots to search the search another fog blades so this is your basic two card combos you have three negates two fog blades and you still re resource back your three hand cards but the, the combo here we you might have a different idea in mind or different like builds you can go for anaconda and you can go for phoenix enforcers or you can go for like ips to you can go for ips and then make unicorns is also as it's also nice but you as you can see i don't have a spell trap negation well this is the flaw of the deck but it is still a pretty decent deck to play we lost dragoons but it is still a good option to play for a budget deck that is under 100 ringgits or 150 ringgits so guys that's it for the deck profile be sure to let me know what you guys think of this and of course if you got any more ideas or any out of the out of the world's extenders be sure to let me know down in the comments below hope you guys are enjoying this deck profile and of course be sure to smash that thumbs up button sub to the channel as always and we'll see you guys next time with another deck profile and also we're back to locals next week so there will be more vlogs and more interaction with me and esgr gaming be sure to stay tuned and yeah take care everyone